to from local races now to the race for the White House. A South Carolina Republican primary is set for this upcoming Saturday. It is a two person race between former President Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and is being watched very closely across the country. Chelsea Torres joins us live from Greer, South Carolina with the latest on the race. A lot of eyes on this one, Chelsea. A lot of eyes indeed. Sylvia Terrence, you know, and right now the event hasn't started yet. They're still about uh, under two hours away from there. So just event organizers are just now starting to get here. And Nikki Haley has said in Iowa and New Hampshire that this is more of a marathon and not a sprint. She says that she's not backing down from this campaign. And a lot of GOP voters who back Haley said that they're really focused on morals and ethics, which is why they are voting for her. And they have her as their choice. Now Haley is pushing through the Palmetto state on a bus tour reminding South Carolinians of her two term as governor. Haley believes she's the reason South Carolina is called the beast of the southeast for getting people off of welfare and adding thousands of jobs. She also talked about the former president's recent court cases. All day, every day. Look at his rant last night, calling me names and talking about being a victim of court cases. The problem with all of that is at no point from New Hampshire or through these court cases, does he ever talk about the American people? On Friday, a New York judge handed Trump and his company a fine of more than $350 million for committing fraud. At a Michigan rally, Trump says the decision was a lawless and unconditional atrocity. He also focused his speech about the border crisis and the thousands of migrants crossing the border. Where well, basically anybody who has a high paying good job will be losing their jobs by the millions. These people are going to work for nothing. They're going to work for very small amounts of money. You're going to lose your jobs. It's so sad. A recent poll in South Carolina has Trump up 58 percent over Haley at 32 percent, despite what happens on Saturday. Haley said that she's still going to continue campaigning after South Carolina, especially since Super Tuesday is just two weeks away. In Greer, South Carolina, Chelsea Torres, Fox 32, Chicago.